Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. Today I am talking about getting in a puzzle rut. That was me for the past like two weeks where I didn't really care to puzzle and I know how it happened. Like I could see the chain of events where we moved, it was stressful, didn't really puzzle too much. Then we got here and I did probably like six puzzles within two weeks. So I had like a good spurt of like, I'm so excited to do all my puzzles. I had done a 2000 piece puzzle, which was just a lot for me. And it was broken up into chunks, but the second chunk was definitely harder than the first. The second thing I did was I did another section of the 160 cats puzzle, which is also pretty challenging for me. Third, I did the MI bird puzzle which I didn't film or post anything about it but that was a hot mess and so those three puzzles kind of led to like I'm kind of done puzzling for a while and then I looked at the rest of the puzzles that I had there are some really good images there but there are just ones that are maybe more difficult that I want to do or ones that are not screaming to me those puzzles were also associated with like videos that I wanted to do and maybe a larger concept that I had the like, capacity to do and I just needed a way to get out of my puzzle rut. So a few things that I'm doing to kind of like spring the energy back into me is one, I went to that new puzzle store and yes, there will be a haul soon. I did buy quite a bit. I also ordered quite a bit. And so apparently when I'm in a puzzle rut, I buy more puzzles. I think if it was a different scenario where I wasn't in temporary housing and had my whole collection, I may not have gone that road, but right now I have a very limited supply. And so going out and buying some new things to like spark a little bit of interest was just something that I needed. I did get a puzzle mat, so hopefully it will film okay. And we're just going to play around with it. So today we're just doing a very simple puzzle. I'm doing a 500 piece. It's from the brand Clementoni. It's this one here, which just called to me when I was at the puzzle store because this is called Portland Headlight, and this is actually where me and Dave had our first date. And I grew up in Maine, so this is like the most iconic headlight lighthouse that's out there. I love Sky. It's only 500 pieces, and it's a brand that I've been wanting to do. I do have a 6,000 piece puzzle from them. I'm kind of intimidated by it because it is a 6,000 piece puzzle where all the pieces are together. It's not broken up at all. Trying it out in a smaller piece count might help me decipher its quirks. So. That is what I'm going to be doing is this 500 piece puzzle. We'll see how the lighting is and everything over there. Um, so this is big experiment here on my channel is trying to work this out. But I think this image is so pretty. Also, I just want to mention, it's going to be also an experience. I found out on my camera that I can film in 4K, which the thing that I'm having issues with, with is battery life. So I did buy a couple new batteries. Hopefully it lasts OK for this process. But I'm just happy to be here. I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it is a hot mess. But yeah, let's get into this puzzle. I'm excited for it. All right, so here is the Clementoni puzzle up close. You can see it. Box is absolutely stunning, so high quality. It is an Italian brand, which I don't think I've ever tried. So that's also exciting, but look at those colors. It did have cellophane on it, but I did take it off for this clip so it wasn't shiny, but the box just seems nice. It has that like linen-y texture that some people love or hate. I don't mind it, but traditional puzzle box. It looks like it is available in a ton of different languages. I'm just gonna open this up and see what it looks like. We have just a puzzle bag that could have fit in a box half the size. So that is something that I'm calling out because I just think it's unnecessary. But we do have a couple little flyers in here. We're just gonna go in and see how this works. By the way, this is my new puzzle mat. It does have like these little indents because the cats were walking on it and it kind of just left these imprints. So uh, yeah, that's what that is. But anyways, I don't, I think it's okay color wise. It just has all these little dents in it now from the kitties. All right, puzzle pieces. They seem pretty traditional. A little bit shiny, nothing crazy. Let me show you what it looks like up close. So not the craziest shine, does have like a tiny bit of luster, does have that linen texture, same as like a cobble hill or pomegranate puzzle, but I like the size of it. You know, it's not too big. Um, I am noticing though that there are sections that are still together. So 
um, not cut all the way through on some pieces. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving like, look at that sky piece. That is beautiful. Um, so, so far I'm excited. Let's see, puzzle dust, not the worst, not the best. So there's a little bit there that I will brush off later, but um, yeah, we're just gonna get into this and see how it works out. All right, so I separated the pieces out. These little things came with the puzzle board. I really have just been using the tops of boxes, but since they're here, I'm using them. Um, we have the lighthouse, I have rocks, sky, water, and then around that I have the edges up here, all the orange sky, and then I've been like putting together the sun right here and then just some miscellaneous pieces on the side. So that is what I'm working with. I so far like the, the quality of these pieces and I like the coloring. So I'm just gonna continue on working from this sky portion and then I'll go into edges, but I'm just loving this bright orange. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Also, I am going to use like a lint roller to pick up all the puzzle dust because that just makes it feel so gritty. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights lot later and I'm sorry that the lighting has changed a few times in this video definitely experimenting with the overhead light that's there and what I have here and it's just gonna take a little bit while we are in this transition but let's go over the puzzle which it is gorgeous this puzzle is beautiful love the image definitely gave like sentimental vibes love the colors loved the sky and I'm surprised I love doing water so that was super fun. The hardest part for me was the rocks, but nothing crazy. It took me maybe like two hours to do the whole entire thing. I did part of it during my lunch break and then a bit after dinner, but it was really fun. And I will say there were some kinks with Clementoni that I noticed. There were quite a bit false fits, like 
surprising amount. I definitely noticed it around the border. There were several spots where it looked completely fine. Pieces were in the wrong spot. Same with like the water and the rocks. That's where I would notice the most like false fits. So I'd say at least a dozen, if not more, um, that I've noticed. And this is just a 500 piece. So I couldn't even imagine doing my 6,000 piece one. So it will definitely be a challenge whenever I get to doing that puzzle. Hi, Loki. Yeah, you're telling them. Okay. As far as me being in a puzzle route, I think the things that definitely have helped is one, to stay in a smaller piece count, not have something super daunting, so a relatively easier puzzle or something that's calming. For me, this is like more of a calming puzzle. I love doing sky, so it's an image that I was really into. Then another thing I would just do in a puzzle route is just not stress about it, you know, uh, maybe take a week or two off and then I'm sure I'll come back to it. But um, I just, I think staying in the in the smaller piece counts will definitely help me. Also, those new puzzles that I am so excited for. Now, I'm sure I'm going to go back into my thousand piece ones within a couple weeks, but I just have so much other things going on right now and our space is so limited, so it's hard for me to take those out. And I think that's something I should have considered when I was doing my pack with me, where I did mostly 500 pieces. Um, I was able to do a 2000 piece puzzle this month, which was awesome while in temporary housing, but I think that's a rarity so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video let me know some of your tips that you've had when you've been in a puzzle rut again stay tuned for the puzzle haul which will be very soon and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys